I'm so happy that you are a Hello and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can tell from the title below, it is a quick everyday makeup tutorial for school, for work. Oops. It's not going to be 5 minutes, definitely not 10. Well, it's definitely going to be around 10 to 15 minutes, so not too quick for my liking. But it's actually pretty quick for an average. So if you want to get this whole look on my face, please go ahead and continue watching. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, welcome, I'm Beverly. You could subscribe to my channel, press the notification bell. If you want to be notified of every time I post a new video, and yes. So as you can tell, I'm actually changed quite a bit from the first video you saw me in. I've got red hair, first of all, and I've got no braces. I've just taken them off last week, and I am loving it. All those times or like things that people say that it feels different, it feels weird, it feels slimy, it feels like you don't know how to smile. I didn't feel any of that. I felt completely fine. And after it was out, it was like nothing ever happened. I felt like that. I mean, apart from the immense pains that I've felt over the past three years, because every time they had to tighten it, I would just cry and I would just be eating soup or ice cream. But other than that, everything felt good. But... I'm definitely taking more care of my teeth because I'm just so scared it's gonna be rotten or I don't know, it's just something weird's gonna happen and I'm so scared that something will. But yeah, there's that. So anyways, if you guys wanna get the look, you can carry on watching and I'll see you in the next second. Okay, so I've already applied my primer. So I currently use the Fenty primer and it is pretty good. I love how it falls onto my face and it gives my face a really mattifying base which is what I look for in a primer because I get really oily around my T-zone area and my cheeks. So that's the first thing that I do. Um, so next is I do my foundation. And currently I'm using the Fenty foundation in the shade 300. You will tell in a second that this shade is so different to my actual skin tone. Just watch. Look, look at how dark it is compared to my actual face. I'm just gonna put it all over. So before I just blend it in, I like to use my Nivea lip balm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend it all in. So basically, um, I started wearing makeup when I was about 15, 16. But I've been fiddling with the idea of makeup since I was about 13. I never really was into makeup until i started watching youtube and saw like all the beauty transformations and all that but i was never like really interested in like transforming myself into like i don't know something completely different i just started wearing makeup just because i thought i looked good in it and just sort of came naturally every year i would set aside a certain amount of money so that i can budget myself to buy new makeup and currently i'm doing pretty well with that so now i'm just using kabuki brush to blend it all in today i have a zit over here and I have scarring on this side and I have pretty much nothing else. Today my under eyes are looking not too bad, which is good. But we're going to have to use my concealer. So I'm currently using <laughs> the Fenty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 300 as well. And you will see that these two are completely different shades. Like this is completely darker than this. This is really light. So... You would tell from my face later that there's this major um, difference. <music> and 
and now I'm just going to use my beauty blender with this um, tip over here to blend it all in. Okay, so I'm done blending out my concealer. So basically what I do just to, just to make sure I've actually blended everything out, I go back to using my Kabuki brush and I just go in circular motions all around the places I've put concealer on so I can make sure that it is all blended out. Pretty good, isn't it? Okay, my SD card is going crazy. So basically, I was just filming myself putting on the bronzer and I'm sorry, you're just gonna be missing a clip out of that. But anyways, I just applied the bronzer as I was saying. Just basically, I put two layers of powder on my face and just after I put the concealer and the foundation on, I usually put my first layer of bronzer and highlighter on. So right now, I've just finished putting on my bronzer. So now I'm gonna go in with the Revolution Roxaurus Contour and Highlight Palette. I just use this shade whatever shade I find and I quite like it my SD card was full so I had to go delete some footage and I don't know where I've apparently stopped and I'm sorry if there's any parts of it missing so anyways I just put on the shade retro so basically what happened after my SD card was red as full and when I noticed, I failed to mention that I actually was using the Urban Decay Reloaded palette and I've did, I just did not pick up on that when I realized that my SD card was full and was not recording anything I said. So just to let you guys know what palette I'm using. As my base, as you can tell. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Burn now with my smaller brush. So I usually just put it on top of my crease. to line my eyes so I go in with my angled thinner brush and I like to use a reputation to line my eyes So now I can go in and do my eyebrows. I'm currently using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown. Um, I try to keep to my natural shape. I don't like to reshape it or anything like that because my brows are already naturally thick-ish. So I just like to give it a quick and rough outline of my original shape just like that. And I just blend it in. Usually works half the time, just depends on how accurate I am naturally on the day and I've noticed that every year that I reshape my brows, I actually tend to find that one side is harder to shape. So currently my right side is pretty hard to do. It is currently at a really different shape, so that's not good, but well, there's nothing I can actually do about it except just follow the shape and just have odd looking eyebrows but yes i just tend to just follow the shape and i just don't question it 
So there it is, my eyebrows, just like that. And I am gonna now go in with a second layer of powder, which is the Fenty Beauty, um, what's it called? Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Cashew. I love this as my top base, whatever you want to call it. It is so, so mattifying and so satisfying to use as well. So let's go over, all over my face. And I am done with the face. So now, optional for me, it's really, really dependent on the day. If I feel like wearing a mascara, I will. Some days I don't because just can't be bothered. But usually, that is it. And then, depends on the lipstick shade I'm wearing for the day. Usually I go for something that's nude-ish. Today I feel like having a red lip, so I'm going to go in with my Chanel. But first, I am going to line my lips with the red lip pencil. gonna go in with my Chanel red lipstick in the shade I believe it is Rogue Allure, Allure Velvet 58 it is pretty mattifying I personally find that this lipstick is not too red because I hate too red of a lipstick and it is just right for me so kudos to any one of you who wears red lipstick on a daily you guys are killing it okay now I'm just gonna go in with my Urban Decay D Slick there's an actual pattern to this but I just spray it however I see it. so this is the look. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what other kind of videos you guys want me to film or whether you found this useful or whether, I don't know, just anything you want. Um, also, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, press the notification bell just on the side of it if you enjoy watching my videos and want to be notified clearly to watch more of my videos. But other than that, I will see you guys later and thank you for watching. Bye!